Hey guys, going back to Fate Stay Night, Real to Nua. Last time we were at we were on Shira's third day. Right. I think the school day had just ended, if I recall. Uh, I leave soccer as club activities and head to the school building. Or no, it's the start of the day. The schoolyard is filled with spirited students running around. Hmm. Still, there's something oddly wrong here. You can feel the... The boundary field, huh? The school's like it always is. The students at morning practice are lively and the new school building is spotless. Um, it's not. But when I close my eyes, the air completely changes. The school building is covered with stains like membranes, and the students running around the schoolyard seem like empty dolls. Uh, press X to doubt. I shook my head and head towards the school. Always trust your gut, Shiro. School ends early on Saturdays. Classes end before noon, and after I finish helping Issei, the sun is starting to set. I pack up and leave my classroom. Ah, if only it were to go that way, my, my friend. And then? Uh, yeah. I bump into Shinji. That fuck. There are a couple girls behind him being rowdy. やることもないくせにまだ残ってたのああ、そうか。また生徒会にごますってたわけね。いいね、宮は。部活なんてやんなくても内心稼げるんだからさ。ないな。ちょっと <laughs> I mean, I suppose. Mm, no, not really. I should be up to repairmen, not students. Yokuyo,エミアに言わせれば何だって当たり前だからね。そういう言いこぶりが勘に触るって前に言わなかったっけ? <laughs> that, cause, cause he is one. Kind of. Oh. うん、すまん。よく覚えていない。それ、真珠の口癖だと思っていたから、どうも聞き流してたみたいだ。I せいぜい面倒見るぐらいだが。よし。なら頼まれてくれよ。うちの弓道場さ、今割と散らかってるんだよね。弦も巻いてないのが溜まってるし。真珠の掃除もできてない。He's got to be like the number one worst character in like any one. Maybe not any visual novel, but a lot of visual novels. He's got to be like the number one worst character. That's what I've seen anyway. He's just a piece of work. Hima nara sa. Sotchi no hou mo yoroshiku yatte kurenai kana. Moto kyudo buin da ro. Seito kai ni nanka shippo futte nai de. Tama ni wa boku tachi no yaku ni tatte kure. Ah, this man. I hate him. Eh? Jotto senpai. Sore te senpai ga Fujimura sensei ni iwarete ta koto jana katta? そうですよ。ちゃんとやっておかないと明日怒られますよ。でもさ、今から片付けしてたら店閉まるじゃん。そこの人がやってくれんならそれでいいんじゃないの？People really out here trying to take care, uh, take advantage of Shiro, huh?
悪いよそれに部外者に後片付けなんかできるわけないし I mean Did these people not know he was in the archery club and was like one of their best? Like what? So, the man in the eye? I know he's a motor cute old boy in that the change and I tell you, sir. Makasa chaba ino. These frickin' people. They're getting rowdy behind Shinji. It seems they're an archery club, but they must be members of Shinji recruited recently as I don't know them. Ja, Ato, a Yoroshku. Kagino Basho, a Kawate Naikara. Katenia Toyo. Sure, yeah. Ah, come on, I yo. Do say him at the gra. Tamanua, co you no more. Thank you. Sorry, I go them in a Tsuman is at you. I think I had toy to credit this. Shinji, Shinji, Shinji. You'll get what's coming to you. I swear it. Matthew, say bye. <sighs> the cleaning ends quite easily is another place well. So if it had been one of those girls, a Shinji, they would have gotten stabbed. <sighs> Damn it. That's that's some rotten luck. It took a while as it is big, it is quite big, but it was fun cleaning the place I uh, used uh, using a, uh, a year and a half ago. I picked up a bow, thinking it might be okay to shoot just once, but since it was mine, I decided not to. Ah, come on. If I ever want to, I can just bring my own bow and come here. But look at the clock, it's way past curfew. It's a little after 7 o'clock. The gate should be closed by now, so there's no reason to rush now. Still, was this dojo always this dirty? There are loads of places that look unkept. Shiro, you can't let people do this to you, man. I started this, so I'll finish the job. Wind is blowing. It's so cold that my cheeks are getting numb. Buki City isn't usually cold during the winter, but it is cold tonight of all tonight of all nights. <sighs> the one night you stay out late that is a night is cold. My breath hangs around as a white cloud. What? <laughs> There's no light in the sky when I look up. Because of the strong winds, the clouds are moving fast. It's past curfew, and there's a sign of life in the empty school. Ah, uh, it's... Yeah. At like 8 o'clock at night, you'd think that'd be the case. Say 8, 8.30, but... Mmm, Shiro, you're... You're in for a bad time. It seems this place is filled only with chill as it's all silent. <laughs> Just now. I think I hear something. Oh, you dumb, dumb man. This night. I must have been curious about the sound that broke the silence. To investigate it, I find myself heading there even though I somehow know that I mustn't. Well... I go to the schoolyard. In a sense. Well, they only look like that from a distance. It's a dark night with no light. If I want to know more, I'll have to go closer to the schoolyard. I can hear the sounds louder now. It's the sound of metal hitting metal. That must mean someone is fighting with weapons there. I just miss the image from my mind with a bitter smile and walk on. Shiro. At that time, maybe my instincts noticed the danger as I hid myself as I approached. I don't know if this is fortunate or not. 
But anyways, when I get by a tree that's big enough to hide myself, I take a, look, a closer look at the source of the sound. My mind stops completely. There's something strange there. A man in red and a man in blue. They're dangerously armed, and as, and as their ominous appearance suggests, they're actually slashing at each other. I can't understand. I can't follow them with my eyes. My brain does not work properly, faced with their impossible movements. The clang of their weapons tells me they're trying to kill each other. I just knew immediately when I saw them. They're not human. They're probably just things that look like humans. I mean, hey, they were technically human once. To be fair. I can tell, not because I'm learning magic. Anyone would realize they're not human. Would they? Would they, though? After all, humans can't move like that. Yeah, fair enough. So that's something no one should associate with. I can feel the murderous intent even from a distance. I'm going to die. My body understands faster than my brain, and I will definitely die if I stay here. Also, hold up, I just realized something. Yep. Uh. Alright, fix that. That's why my heart is racing so fast. As a living thing like them, I sense that they're living things and they don't need to kill. They're using weapons made only to kill. I remember the murder yesterday. They said the, f the family was killed with some weapon like a sword. <laughs> it wasn't Archer, Shiro. I shouldn't watch any longer. You yeah, probably not. But my body won't follow my commands and I can't even breathe. My mind wants to run away, but my judgment tells me I'll be seen the moment I run away. More than the conflict within my within me, my body is just numb. Even though I'm over 40 meters away, I can't breathe properly. It's like I have a spear pointed right at my back. The sounds stop. The figures separate and stand facing each other. The moment I feel really for the end of the battle. As has an even stronger intention to kill. <laughs> yeah, you're... Not in a good spot. My heart stops. The numbness of my body becomes convulsions, and I clench my teeth to try to hold my trembling body. <laughs> um... Well, that's hard to explain, right? This moment. An overwhelming amount of magical energy is flowing into the guy in blue. Kiritsugu uh, showed me one, so it's like to draw in magical energy from the surroundings. It was a beautiful magic that impressed even an amateur like me. That thing is different. Just even the simple task of drinking water could, be, could seem ugly if it goes too far. What he's doing is so excessive that anyone with knowledge of magical energy would hate it. He's going to die. The guy in red is going to die. It's a blow with that much concentrated magical energy. There's no way he'll be able to survive it. He'll die. He's not some he's not human, so something merely like a human will die. That is. 
That's... That's... Something I can just ignore her? That doubt takes my mind off of them. The binds on my body disappear in the instant I take a deep breath. Tarda! Oh shit. The guy in blue stares at me who's hiding. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. The blue guy's body sinks. Just that motion tells me that I'm a target now. Yeah, you want to get the fuck out of there. My legs start running automatically. I finally realize that it is to escape death that I pull all the energy into my body into running away. I don't know how fast I run, but before I know it, I'm in the, I'm in, uh, I'm in the school building. Yeah, I gotta agree with you there. I regret my actions, panting heavily. I should have run into town to get away. What am I doing fleeing to such a deserted place? In a school of all things. Isn't there some better place to hide than here? Anyways, why do I think I'll be killed if I don't escape? Um... You... Mm, probably instinct. <sighs> My heart aches from running so much. Running around, I can sense nothing pursuing me. Are you sure about that? Like, are you absolutely, positively sure that that is the case? The only sound in the air is the sound of my footsteps. <sighs> so I can finally rest. Oh, it's a bad call. I stop my feet, and I'll take another step, send oxygen to my pumping heart, and look up to finally realize that I'm safe. <sighs> uh, some fudged up shite. I recall a scene from earlier while catching my breath. Anyway, I'm sure that it wasn't something I should have seen. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong about that. Some things like humans are fighting in the school grounds. That's all I can remember. There was something else I saw out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> I don't know, well, yeah, I guess to be fair, if you saw two, like, beasts just slashing each other at insane speeds, you'd probably be pretty focused on that, too. Can't really blame them. But I can't remember what that figure looked like. To be honest, I didn't have the composure to notice anything other than those two fighting. Daro. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Uh, I knew this was coming, but man, Shira, you shouldn't have stopped. The voice comes from right in front of me. Well, shit. Yeah, Shira, you're, you're, you're dead. I can't breathe. My brain stops, even though I cannot think. I vaguely understand that I'm going to die. The lance is casually raised. Oh, well, you know, I'd mm, rather not. And the man's lance mercilessly pierces Emiya Shiro's heart. But it refused. There wasn't even time to dodge it. All the training I did was for nothing. I knew I was going to be killed. 
I knew I was going to be pierced by that lance, yet I could not move at all. Rest in peace, my boy. The world distorts. My body grows cold. Feeling vanishes from my fingertips. I cough up blood once. More blood should have come up, but it only happens once. Perhaps a man's lance is special. The blood slowly clots, and the heart that should have exploded stops working with just a single pierce. I can't see well. There's no feeling in me. I feel like a jellyfish floating in the dark sea at night. I don't feel any pain already. I mean, I'd say that's pretty lucky. The world is white and only I am black. So rather than feeling like I'm dead, it's more like the world around me has disappeared. I know this. I felt this 10 years ago. This is how someone feels when, when dying. I cannot concentrate on my vision. Yeah, kind of. I only hear voices. A voice filled with irritation. And after that, I hear footsteps running through the hallway. Archaka, Kerry, you get to Okita to Korodana. Master no Hoshin or Yaburu Akeni Mikumai. Mataku, Ikeskane Master da Koto. Archer, your master, or both. The voice suddenly disappears. Well, rip him, I suppose. I guess he jumped out of a window or something. Ah! Uh, not quite. And after that, footsteps approach me and stop. Hi, Tom Stom. Uh, how blind are we? Um, I've seen Unlimited Blade Works, the anime. So, but I don't know anything about the differences between, like, the Fate Root and Heaven's Feel Root to compare to Unlimited Blade Works. But yeah, I, anything that was in Unlimited Blade Works, I know about. In that brief period. More footsteps. I can't hear much now. Whose voice was that? I concentrate my fading mind, but I can't remember anything. Right now, my breathing is too noisy. My lungs must still be alive. The air coming out of my mouth is as loud as a hurricane. Oh, you know, well... Just... Special, you know, item that may or may not be inside of us, you know? No big deal. I sense someone looking at my face. Perhaps my breathing was loud as the figure tries to close my mouth, and... Ah, cause we were dumb and helped Shinji. You know, stroke a bag of luck, really. I hear the person grit their teeth, then touch me without hesitation. 
その間に心臓一つ丸々修復かこんなの成功したら時計塔に一発合格ってレベルじゃない I mean, yeah, be pretty impressive if you can heal this damage. Even though you kind of have help, but. A pain filled voice. With that, my mind stops fading. Feeling returns to my body. Slowly, bit by bit, like a drop of water going down a leaf. Feeling returns to my. Oh,、uh, wait. Oh, yeah, feeling returns to my body. What is the person doing? The person is sweaty and places their hand on my chest with all their heart. When I notice, the place where the person placed their hand is terribly hot.、It、must be so hot that the frozen blood melted and started to flow again. I sense someone take a deep breath and sit down. I hear a clang of something falling. I mean, a jewel or a life? I mean, I guess as a mage, you should probably prioritize the jewel that has a bunch of magical energy, but as a human, I'd say the life is more important. And that's it. The person speaks to mock themselves and leaves. My heart resumes its activity. And then my mind stops. This is not the sleep of death. This is a restful sleep to recover the energy to wake up again. <laughs> 